I'm going to zoom this one in a little bit more so you can kind of see what I'm doing. In there, reach in there and score that. Get your hand up out of there. Last thing you want is to hang on to it too far thinking, oh, I'll, I'll just wait until there. And then you, you come off of there and miss. Now all of a sudden you've, you've, you've marked your hand here, you've hit your thumb, whatever. That's the last thing I want you to do. Some people frown on using a sheetrock knife for this, but hey, I see lots of electricians do it that way. And that's, like I said, that's just how I was taught. Okay, push that up out of the way. I can hold on to this paper and I can saw that off. Okay, there. Got three wires out of there. That's all I'm going to do at that box right now. Let's work on the next box. Same thing. I didn't score that enough that back there, so I'm just going to score it again. The key with scoring is better to have to score it a second time than thinking, oh, I don't want to score it a second time. I'll just score it harder. And you score it harder, and you score and cut right through the um, sheathing around the black wire, around the white wire and you nip one of those wires, that's the last thing you want to do, okay? That's the last thing you want to do because you don't want to have those wires exposed inside your box hitting any metal or anything like that or else you're in for trouble. Okay, you remember this was the loop one, so we're going to loop that. Now, if you have a twist in your wire, you can move the twist around because I don't want you to have to go over on one side and then over and score it on the back side. You want that wire flat, okay? Retract your blade, get that up out of there. Pushing the rubber back because I want to get most of that cut off. You know, it's still it's still coming out of the back side of the box a little bit, and that's fine. There's a little piece of paper back there. I can't reach it, so I get my little pliers out. See, so you don't want to get that rubber. There's only so far back you can cut the sheathing, but you want to get it back far enough to allow the extra slop in your wires when we push it all back. You know, after we hook everything up right but yet you don't want to get it all the way back to where you don't have any sheathing of the cable coming through the box you've got to have that you don't want to have just this wire exposed outside of the box you know what I mean okay so so far that's what your projects gonna look like You've got those two wires two sets of wires there three sets of wires there now I know it looks like a lot of wires that's why I'm doing this video because I'm explaining everything as I go and I'll keep doing that. I want you to be able to do your project. The only way I can get you to think that you can do your project is if I explain this properly, right? If I don't explain it properly, you're not going to feel comfortable enough knowing that you can do this project. Now if you're watching this clip, if you've got any questions for me, you can always send me some comments and ask me some questions. I'll be more than happy to send you a response. Anything I can do to help your, you with your project is a win-win for both of us.